so dear learners today we will be discussing in this session the budget line budget line or price line in the indifference curves analysis this budget line is very important as the no name denotes it tells us of a certain budget that means the amount income amount which a consumer has to spend on these two commodities x and y this is denoted by this budget line this budget line shows us the combinations which a person can buy with a given amount which has been earmarked for the purchase of these two commodities that is one commodity x and come on to second commodity y so with the help of this budget line we get to know as to which are the possible combinations which a person can buy now it tells us about the capacity of an individual it doesn't tell us about the choices of that individual now the choices of the individual are given in the indifference line indifference curve that shows the choices well i like this combination i don't like that combination this is a matter of uh, indifference curves indifference curves tell us about the various combinations which are there as per the choice as per the preference of an individual but the budget line tells us about the various possible combinations that can be purchased by an individual say an individual can buy this much of x and this much of y so whatever is the quantity that can be purchased it shown on with the help of budget line this budget line depends on two factors uh, let me show you the budget line first say a person has an amount of rupees 100 and commodity y and commodity x these are the two commodities on offer for that person suppose in commodity y is costing rupees 10 each and he has got rupees 100 with him so now he will be able to buy 10 units of y if he spends his entire money income on y and he can buy with rupees 100 say if the price of x is 20 then this consumer can buy 5 units of x because 20 into 5 that makes it 100 uh, so uh, commodity x is costing rupees 20 one can buy 5 units if entire rupees 100 are spent on x and no amount of y is purchased now y is costing 10 so if a person spends all the 10 rupees 100 rupees on y then the person can buy 10 units this again makes it 100 in between there are various combinations these are also available to that individual depending upon the preference of the individual these are the combinations say a b c and d these are the different combinations that can be purchased by an individual so an individual can either purchase this much of quantity say l this is m lm is the budget line and an individual can purchase spend entire money on y ol can be purchased if entire money is spent on x o m quantity can be purchased but in between there are various options say a b c and d if you are at a then you are buying this much of y and this much of x if you move to b then you are buying this much of y and this much of x if you move to c then you are buying this much of y and this much of x and if you love x commodity more then maybe you can go in for d wherein you can buy very little of y and a lot of x this is the budget line why budget line because it shows the budget of an individual consumer to be spent on a commodity this is how it is known as a budget line 
Now, this budget line is depends on two factors. One, price of prices of two commodities. which are in question and number two income year mark this income year mark is actually budget income year mark for purchasing X and Y. So the budget line is dependent on these two factors. One, prices of two commodities, like price of commodity X in this case is rupees 20, and price of commodity Y in this case is rupees 10. So prices of two commodities, they are very important for the budget line and Budget. Why do we call it budget? Because in a certain portion of income has been earmarked for the purchase of these two commodities that is X and Y. That is how it is known the budget as budget line. These are the two characteristics of, uh, these are the two fundamental factors related to the budget line. If you have more than one budget line in a diagram, it is known as the budget map. See, this is a diagram wherein this is X commodity and this is Y commodity. This is a budget line LM. Now, supposing consumer increases his spendable part of income and the budget line goes upwards L1, M1 and supposing there is further increase in the income of the consumer, so the budget line shifts even more upwards L1, M1, L2, L2, M2. Now you have three budget lines in this diagram. One is LM, second one is L1, M1. Third one is L2, M2. This is known as the map of budget lines. There are many budget lines in one diagram showing different purchase sequences with different budgets. What has happened in this case is that the spendable income or the budget of a consumer has increased because of maybe the rise in his income. His income has increased and therefore he is ready to spend more on these two commodities. So that's how it goes on shifting. Every budget line to the right denotes a higher level of satisfaction. And every budget line to the left denotes a lower level of satisfaction. Now there may be some other situations related to budget line. Supposing One commodity gets cheaper. What will happen then? Have a look at this situation. This is commodity X, this is commodity Y and this is the budget line LM. Now supposing somehow as a result of the market process, commodity Y becomes cheaper, uh, X becomes cheaper. The price of X falls. So if the price of X falls, 
then what will happen this line will shift like this and you will notice that the consumer will be able to purchase more quantity of x m m1 additional quantity of x can be purchased but the point on y axis is unchanged because there is no change in the price of y only the price of x has come down supposing it falls further then another line will be drawn and supposing it meets meets at m2 so you must be noticing it very clearly that a shift in budget line parallelly denotes change in income but shift in budget line on one axis only from one point to another shows that there is a change in the price of this particular commodity x this is one situation now supposing y becomes cheaper then what will happen see this will be the shape of the diagram then now price of x is unchanged but price of y falls so consumer can buy more of y this is l m this is l1 m still further if it falls l1 l2 m so if the price of y commodity falls then more of y can be purchased that can be de depicted with the help of this diagram if the price of x falls then this can be depicted with the help of the first diagram now what do you notice over here this m point is unchanged this is not changed it's only that there is a change in y on y axis first only ol quantity was being purchased now ol1 quantity can be purchased and even further ol2 quantity of y can be purchased there may be another situation wherein the prices of both the commodities change supposing this is the given situation ox denotes quantity of x to be purchased with the given amount of money with the given amount of budget ol tells us about the quantity of y to be purchased with a certain given amount of money now supposing y becomes cheaper y becomes costlier and x becomes cheaper how do we denote that so y has become costlier that means now this may be the shape of the budget line l1 m1 actually originally we were purchasing oly now we are purchasing only ol1 that means this commodity has become costlier on the x axis you must be noticing that originally we were purchasing om quantity of x but now we are able to purchase om1 quantity of x that shows m m1 more quantity can be can be purchased of x and in the case of y l l1 quantity cannot be purchased because it has become costly if it is otherwise the diagram will shift a little other uh, in a different direction let's say this way see this is another situation this is original l1 budget line now x has become costlier so less of x can be purchased and y has become cheaper so more of y can be purchased clear in this these that with the help of these diagrams i have tried to show to you that budget line 
denotes a certain quantity of x and a certain quantity of y to be purchased with a given amount of budget with a given amount of money with earmarked part of income for these two items now this budget line shows various com endless combinations from l to m which can be purchased by a consumer with a certain given income but its limit is within this only one cannot go beyond this this budget line is independent this budget line is independent of the indifference curve it has nothing to do with the indifference curve right now but when you juxtapose budget line on the indifference map then you get to know the actual sales actual purchases that is what we will study in equilibrium so that's all about the budget line thank you